We're at the 41st annual Long Island Regatta in Salt Pond, Long Island. We're on the waters right now. I'm sitting here with Sandra Trico. Most of you out there may know her as Sweet Island Gal. Sandra, your boat is a C-Class boat. Is this the second year now that it'll be racing? Yeah, second year in yeah. Long Island. Okay. How's it doing so far? Um, we did pretty good. I think we're in fifth position overall. Okay. We'll see what happens today. Maybe we'll get up a little further. All right. So now, we'll see. Now who's skipping for you? Um, Cedric, Dane Ferguson right. is my skipper, of course. Yeah. First mate, Mr. Keith Brown. Okay. And of course, you know, Thomas on the boat also. Oh, you know, Thomas saying you get left. I want to say a special thank you to some sponsors that actually made it possible for us to be here mm -hmm. uh, to this regatta. Ultimate Glass and Aluminum, they're located on Mackey Street, of course. M&S Crane is located here right in Long Island. And S.O. Wolf and Montrose. And of course, Sands Bear. Uh, Chester, how would you say that this regatta is going so far overall? I'm quite happy with the turnout and the fan support and the way the sailors turned out and supported it for the first time, for doing it the first time on Labor Day. Wonderful. Now let's talk a little bit about this just this junior race again, uh, Chester, because this is, is, is actually a milestone for you all. Yeah, um, we got it started about eight or ten years ago, I'm not quite sure. but um, And then we had a lull where the last two years we weren't able to get it off. Mm -hmm. And now we have six boats out here competing and it's going real smooth, so I'm quite pleased about that. And yes. I hope that this is something that we could build, could build on in the future. Exactly. If the race finishes the way it is right now, Bailey Legal will either be first or second, and Sweet Island Gal will be fourth. So it looks right now as if the Bailey Legal will be the junior champion of this year with Tyler as, our, as the skipper. There goes Bailey Legal, just about to, just about to run the marker right now to go ahead and for the finish line. I'm sitting here with the champions of the junior race. This is Gerard Knowles. You're the skipper for the Barely Legal. Y'all are from Salt Pond. Gerard, what do you think allowed you to become the overall champion? Yesterday, you all won first place in that race. Today, not exactly as high up, but you still came out as the overall champions. What is your technique? Um, just teamwork and having the right crew and everybody cooperating with each other and the success happens. Well, what did you do out here today to, 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 to do so well overall? Um, I came first in the first race, second in the second race, and fourth in this race, and a couple other boats didn't sail all the races, so I, I got second of all. Uh, this is a very special part of this 41st annual Long Island Regatta. I'm sitting here with my friend, we just became friends, this is Roger Cartwright, but we are amidst family and friends, and we're getting ready to watch the kids uh, race it in. Uh, Roger, what is this program called? This, this program is called the McNaults Optimus um, Junior Sailing Club. Mm -hmm. uh, what this is, this is uh, a um, program we put together to try to get all the young kids in Long Island more interested and more integrated in sailing so we can have a wider spectrum of children participating in the regatta because um, in all actuality, actuality the most of the um, captains now who sail these boats they sail the a b and c so it's like a dying breed so we're trying to bring these young kids back in to the regatta all right so we've just concluded the mcnulls junior optimus sailing program yeah. these kids did very well but tori thailand miko came those three came out ahead yeah. you all are doing a wonderful job roger just keep thank it up you. thank you thank you very much all right we're having a good time this 41st annual long island regatta enjoying sailing by the kids this time the future of regatta is in great hands native show Native show. <laughs> what what inspires you to keep committed like this, Zoe? It's simple. It's the children and their love for sailing. Mm -hmm. And we know that without the children, there's no more regattas in Long Island. There mm -hmm. would be no more regattas. Sailing is going to be fine in the Bahamas. Thank God. Native show. <laughs>